At 6 o'clock, we had our last 6 o'clock game, by the way. We got North Carolina A&T, which is 0-2, traveling to Duke, which is 2-0 uh, on the ACC Network Extra. <coughs> <coughs> Again, I am sick. Again, I'm recording all these on Thursday. Nothing I can really do about it. What do you think, Drew? <sighs> he says Duke's actually looking pretty good this year. A weird analysis from a Funko Pop, but, you know. Duke actually has looked surprisingly good. It has been the surprise this year. Them, along with Kansas and Syracuse, are undefeated teams I did not expect to be undefeated. I did not expect Duke to look this good heading into week three, and likely going to be 3-0. and Riley Leonard uh, has gone 37-54, been for 568 yards, three touchdowns, one interception, and has a 68.5% completion percentage. Jalen Coleman on the ground. Has had 19 catches, carries for 126 yards and two touchdowns. Jalen Calhoun has uh, leads this team in receiving yards with 12 catches for 198 yards in two touch. And no, not no, no touchdowns. Sorry, no. I was thinking of the other Jalen. But again, Duke has been a surprise. It has not been a team that I thought would be very good this year, but they've they've surprised me. They have come out and they have actually played good football, which is a surprise for a lot of Duke fans out there. Brand new head coach, and yet still, they're a good football team. They're playing good football right now. To be fair, they're not playing the best teams, but Northwestern's a solid enough unit, and they beat them last week. Um, I think this is a good Duke team. I I'm surprised to say it, but they've looked good so far. Um, I think Duke has a chance to make a bowl game this year. I don't know what's going on a leap, uh, considering they're probably going to go 3-0, they just need to win three more games. But, like, that was not that would be a surprise for a lot of Duke fans if you told them at the beginning of the year. This is a surprising turnaround very quickly uh, for the Blue Devils, and I think the Blue Devils win, and they cover that spread against Texas, uh, North Carolina A&T.